The Taj Mahal is one of the world's most recognized and memorable tombstones, but even after 400 years, it is still surrounded by misconceptions and myths. Was it really built by thousands of elephants carrying marble across the continent? Did Shah Jahan really cut off the hands of artisans so no one could duplicate its beauty? Some legends suggest that there is hidden treasure beneath the tombstone. Is it true? While many appreciate its beauty, few truly understand the engineering behind its design and construction. Some people believe the Taj Mahal is simply a symbol of love and a poetic gesture of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. But it is the entire story. So in this video, we dive into its fascinating engineering while discovering more exciting truths and myths. Was the Taj Mahal built overnight? The common misconception about the Taj Mahal is that it magically appeared overnight while the truth is far away from it. The architectural masterpiece is not an instant creation, but the result of meticulous planning and nearly two decades of labor's hard work. Its construction started back in 1632 and took almost 22 years to complete it. Many skilled workers from India and other countries worked together to build this masterpiece. Also, this masterpiece was created by a huge team of architects, engineers, and artisans, led by Ustad Ahmed Lahori. According to some research, there were more than 20,000 workers involved in its construction. The illusion of instant creation comes from the exceptional symmetry and accuracy of the structure. Every marble slab, each detail, and the inserted gemstone was pre-planned, reflecting the advanced engineering techniques of the 17th century, which is far away from that time. So did the Taj Mahal ever lean like the Tower of Pisa? Some people believe that the Taj Mahal is lean like the Tower of Pisa due to weak foundations. But it's not the truth as the structure stands on a carefully engineered foundation. Engineers used a unique technique called the dry well technique. They dug deep wells and filled them with stones and rubbles and also used wooden planks to make the base stronger. So it will ensure that the base will tackle the weight of the marble and stones. Additionally, as the structure is near the Yamuna River, the moisture coming from the river keeps the foundation stable and prevents cracks over time. When modern engineering tools are not available, engineers and architects rely on a deep understanding of material and nature. They use local bricks and lime mortar alongside imported white marble, which highlights the combination of regional expertise and international collaboration. Far from being unstable, the Taj Mahal is proof of strong engineering principles that have stood for centuries. And is it true that minarets were built slightly tangled? Visitors often wonder why the minarets surrounding the Taj Mahal appear slightly outward. Was it an architectural blunder? But the truth is that it's an engineer's intelligence. And is it only made of white marble? While it's famous for its white marble, other materials like red stone and semi-precious material were also used in construction such as jade, turquoise, and lapis lazuli. Also, these materials were imported from different parts of the world, showing the uniqueness and global efforts involved in the construction process. Red stones are mostly used in its complex structures, such as its pathways, gateways, and others. However, the contrasting colors of white marble with red stones create a stunning visual effect of highlighting the creativity of the engineers behind the design. The Taj Mahal's central dome is one of the most remarkable features. Its height is approximately 240 feet, which is surrounded by four small domes. Seems like it was created by following the double dome principle of construction, a technique where the outer dome was created for appeal and the inner dome was created for structural support. It will also ensure that the weight of the outer dome is equally distributed and prevent it from cracks. Moreover, the engineers used a technique of wooden scaffolding, which broke down once the dome was completely built. So the symmetrical structure and double dome strategies are proof of the advanced engineering skills of the 1600th century. And was Shah Jahan planning a black Taj Mahal? Another myth was that Shah Jahan intended to build a black duplicate of the Taj Mahal across the Yamuna River as his tombstone. Sounds so interesting, but no evidence supports this statement. Also, historical records, including writings from the latest historians, have not mentioned such a plan. However, the visitors witness discolored marble found on the opposite bank of the Yamuna River, which seems like an unfinished garden called Meta Bagh. 
Shah Jahan may have a vision of a detailed garden complementing the Taj Mahal, but a black Taj Mahal remains a myth or imagination that is far away from fact. So did the Taj Mahal change its color over time? People also claim that they witnessed different colors of the Taj Mahal like golden, pink, and others. This misconception comes from the changing tone of white marble under varying different light conditions. During sunrise, the tombstone reflects a pinkish color. In the afternoon, it shines a bright white color, while under the moonlight, it shows a silvery blue sheen color. This fact is not only due to a change in materials, but also because of the interaction of light and marble's reflective properties. Mughal architecture specifically chose Makrana marble for its unique ability to capture and reflect light, adding an aesthetic appearance to the Taj Mahal. But were the artisans' hands really cut off? One of the darker myths about the Taj Mahal is that Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan ordered the artisans to ensure their hands never recreate such a masterpiece. This myth is far away from the truth as there is no credible historical proof to support it. Instead of that, artisans and architects were rewarded for their work. The Mughal Empire was known for its skilled workers, but often employed the best craftsmen from India and other countries to ensure tombstone uniqueness. But what are the hidden engineering tricks they use in the construction? One of the most fascinating facts of the Taj Mahal is that engineers and architects used advanced techniques in construction which are far ahead of this time. The Taj Mahal's audible design allows sounds to repeat within the dome creating an almost graceful echo. This feature wasn't accidental. The Mughal architects carefully designed the dome's curves to boost sound, improving the overall spiritual atmosphere during prayer times. Another hidden technique used is the way the Taj Mahal's base counters the effects of heated expansion. The white marble expands in heat and contracts in the cold temperature, yet the structure remains intact. This is because the materials used in the foundation and superstructure were selected to complement each other's thermal properties. A feat of engineering genius. And is the Taj Mahal empty inside? Many people also believe that the Taj Mahal is empty from the inside and there is no significant internal structure. While the central chamber housing the tomb is the most prominent interior, the Taj Mahal also includes a series of hidden chambers and passages inside. They are mostly used for maintenance and to support the tombstone weight distribution effectively. The complex carvings, inserted gemstones, and paintings inside the Taj Mahal not only highlight the aesthetic beauty, but also showcase advanced techniques in creating durable and lightweight interior designs. Some legends suggest that there is hidden treasure beneath the tombstone. Is it true? Some people believe that there is a hidden treasure beneath the tombstone, but it's far from reality. People have a strong belief in this myth because there is no significant clarity of it from past decades. Historians and researchers found no such evidence of any treasure buried under the Taj Mahal. The tombstone marks the burial place of Emperor Shah Jahan and his wife Mumtaz Mahal, and the focus of the site is its beauty and architectural brilliance, not the hidden treasure. And is the Taj Mahal a perfectly symmetrical structure? The Taj Mahal is known for its perfectly symmetrical structure, but it is not entirely symmetrical. The main tomb housing Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal is slightly tangled from the perfect symmetry from the rest of the structure. This deviation was not overlooked, but a reflection of Mughal architecture philosophy, where absolute perfection was reserved for the appealing design. So, was it really built by thousands of elephants carrying the marble across the continent? It's one of the historical misconceptions, because researchers found no such proof that it was built by thousands of elephants carrying the marble. While elephants played an important role in construction by carrying heavy materials such as boats and bullock carts, etc. Also, historical records suggest that hundreds of elephants were used in construction, but not thousands. The engineering behind the Taj Mahal is not just about bricks and cement. It's the proof of human creativity and the ability to blend art with advanced technique. For the world, it is the symbol of love, accuracy, and architectural intelligence. However, there remain a lot of myths that may not all be clear. Yet the beauty of the Taj Mahal continues to inspire, a timeless wonder in the story of human achievement. But one thing remains, the magic of the Taj Mahal will never fade away. The marble holds its whisper, will we ever hear them all?